Hi, this is Vega with a uh, 2D surround issue and a problem. Hopefully that somebody out there is having this problem also and uh, could verify and or maybe uh, tech support from NVIDIA can help um, on this particular issue. And I think it is a driver issue because my GTX 580s work with these monitors just fine and I did not see this problem. Alright, so the three times Sony FW900s uh, CRT monitors are connected through uh, three VGA cables that are providing the EDID signal for 2D surround. I'm going to zoom in to the NVIDIA control panel. I have uh, currently four GTX 680s in four-way SLI and you can see that there's three uh, FW900s connected um, as they should be. And like I said, everything's working fine now. You can see that uh, I am in 2D surround mode. And what I want to do here Close this uh, window out, and I am running driver 301.10, and the uh, the previous driver that shipped with the uh, GTX 680s has the same issue. So what I'm going to do is uh, go down to start, I'm going to reboot, and I'll show that uh, what's going on here. Alright, so you can see the three monitors are uh, still working fine on the reboot. Now the center monitor and the left monitor are going to go into standby mode, which is normal, and the right screen is going to do the post because it is connected to GPU number one of the four-way SLI. Alright, so you can see it posted on the right. So like I said, with a warm reboot, everything's working just fine, just like on my GTX 580 setup that worked under every condition. And the uh, center and left monitor is starting back up. All right, so there's 2D surround mode working just fine. Let me go ahead and log on. Sorry, trying to do this with one hand. All right. So go back into the NVIDIA control panel. And we see once again everything is working just fine. Three monitors showing up. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and shut down the computer. All right, you can see uh, three monitors are going into standby mode, but they, uh, like I said, they're connected through VGA cables and they still provide an EDI signal for startup. And I never had any issues in the past with my uh, GTX 580s starting back up just fine into uh, 2D surround mode. So we'll just give the uh, computers and monitors here a second to shut down. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and press the uh, power button. So this will be a which you would call a cold, uh, cold startup. All right, like before, the right monitor is connected to GPU number one in the uh, SLI setup should do the post and turn on. All right, there it goes. Now this is where the problem uh, arises as Windows is booting up. Alright, instead of all three monitors turning on and going back into 2D surround mode, um, the right monitor goes into, uh, actually loses its signal and goes into standby mode and turns off. So now the uh, Windows is just loaded fine because I look at the hard hard drive activity light. Everything is loaded up, but I'm getting no signals to any monitor now. So what I actually have to do is I'm going to press the uh, the power button. Computer's going to turn off just like normal. I can see the hard drive uh, shutting Windows, the hard drive blinking light shutting Windows down, and the computer just turned off. So I'm going to have to reach here to the. Uh, the back of one of the monitors, unplug, unplug a VGA cable.
press the power button to turn the setup on. And now what this is essentially doing is when the window starts, it's kind of breaking the uh, 2D surround mode and forcing um, the computer to at least turn on one monitor because it will not, it will not, uh, no matter what I do, it will not boot back into a uh, 2D surround mode. So you can see, right uh, monitor is posting. All right, so it's on single single monitor activation right now. I'm gonna go ahead and log in. And we'll see what's uh, shown under NVIDIA control panel. All right, so right click control panel. I obviously unplugged one of the monitors, so one, uh, one of them isn't gonna be showing. All right, so now I have one FW900 on the left and one just showing analog display. And this, I think this might be the problem, um, even though the monitor is putting on EDI signal, EDID signal, that one of the monitors, uh, the driver isn't reading it properly and it's just going to analog, analog display and preventing Windows from starting up um, properly in 2D mode. So now what I have to do to actually get this to work back is I'm going to head back here, I'm going to plug in the VGA cable. Alright, VGA cable is plugged in. Go back to the control panel. Now if I go to set up displays and I click on my display is not shown, rigorous display detection, it actually won't do anything. Right now it's showing one FW900, one analog display. If I go to configure SLI, disable SLI, hit apply, close out uh, some gamepad software here. All right, so now SLI is disabled. Now you can see it's showing uh, one FW900 on card number one, an analog display on card number two, and then a, now it's showing an FW900 on card number four. What I can do is go back and just set up multiple displays. And you can see there, once again, it's showing that order of displays. My display is not shown. Rigorous display detection. Hit no to the TE aspect. And all of a sudden, you can see now it's showing three FW900s. So even with these two monitors still in standby mode, they're providing EDID signals. So that's why I'm curious why this isn't working properly in startup. So I'm going to go to configure SLI. I'm going to span displays. You can see now, once again, I'm showing three FW900s and four SLI. Configure 2D surround. I'm getting the three check marks. Surround display, everything is good. I'm going to hit apply. All right, the two other monitors are turning on. You can see I've got uh, one, three, two is my normal order here. I'm gonna hit uh, I'm gonna hit next for portrait mode and use standard resolutions. All right, so now I am back to a fully working 2D surround um, FW900 configuration, and hopefully if, uh, somebody out there or maybe even Nvidia can help me get this working properly or this bug fixed in the driver. Because like I said, it's super ignoring. Every time I shut down my computer having to do this to play a game, and it worked just fine with this setup and these cables under uh, on my GTX 580s. Thank you.